How's it going guys? Welcome back to the PPL. Today is week 5 and we're going up against Drewby and his team, the New York Marauders. Here's the team, as you can see, Drewby has a pretty fast team with that Hisuian Electrode, Latias and Ninetales. We also struggle with our Dusclops as well, given that our best type advantage over it is Mighty Enna of all things, so best to watch out for that. I'm not going into my team too much, however you can find the poke paste of the team I'm bringing in the description down below. So without further ado, I present to you all... Week 5 of the PPL. Wish me luck. Okay, week 5 of the PPL versus Drewby. And they brought the team that we kind of thought they would bring. Um, which is great. Absolutely great. Uh, the Aurora Veil we can take care of with our uh, Corviknight with the Defog. Um, Palafin's going to do some work here. Uh, I can see them leading through uh, Hisuian Samurai. I can definitely see them leading that. We just lead Palafin and then we go Verizian if they do that. There is a chance they have Aerial Ace on the Hisuian Samurott, so we have to be careful of that. Um, in which case, we'd probably just switch out into Corviknight if that was the case. Um, but we don't know what set it is yet. So, um, I don't want to take unnecessary damage on Palafin. I am going to leave Palafin because we're going to need them priority jet punches uh, for later down the line. But for now, we'll just leave with that and then we'll see what they lead off with. Because I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be Hisuian Samurott, but you never know. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Drewby. So, I'm going to take my time. They lead with Electrode, expecting the Palafin lead. That's a good lead on their behalf. It's a very good lead. So, they could tear right off the bat. Um, I doubt they would. They probably expect us to switch out here into the likes of the Florges. They're probably expecting our specially defensive Florges, which we are not. We are Choice Scarf, of course, which is awesome. Um, so I guess I could go into floor just it can still take special hits pretty well It depends what set this electrode is as well um, But I think the best thing we can do is go into Verizon, but I don't want to break that sash We could go into Fracture because it still resists both stabs But if they, again, it's same with Verizon if they do Terra Blast for Ice here I think they expect the floor just and I think they uh, If we go Fracture they bring Dusclops in 100% of the time, right? So we're probably better off going into... I still think Fracture is the better option here. I think Fracture is the better option here. So I'm going to hard switch into Fracture right now. Just because I know it can take a Bolt Switch. I know it can take a Leaf Storm. I doubt they go for a Leaf Storm right off the bat. They probably go for something else. So Blade comes in. And we get the Unnerve. So they can't eat a Berry, which is cool. They do go for a Bolt Switch, which is fine. And we do eat that because we're a Fracture. So we're not a Violite. We're actually Expert Belt to give us a little bit more damage on those super effective hits. So, what can we expect to see here? Maybe a Ninetales switch. Ninetales could be cool. They do go Ninetales, so Ninetales is fine. What we'll do now is, because their team is very specially orientated, and um, we brought a specially defensive, more special defensive Corviknight. So, I am going to go straight into Corviknight. Um, I'm expecting an Aurora Veil here. So, we don't want to stay in with Fracture, that's for sure. Um, we can still use First Impression for later on the Electrode, on the Samurott. They do make a hard switch out. And they're going to go into Shaman. Shaman's fine. Shaman is fine. So we withdraw our, our Fracture. And we go into Covenant Knight. Covenant Knight versus Shaman is not a bad matchup for us at all. We can go straight for a U-turn here. Or we can go for a Brave Bird. No, I don't, I don't think Brave Bird is the right option. I think U-turn's great. So I'm going to go for... I don't have Brave Bird. I have Buddy Press. I don't know why I said Brave Bird. Um, I'm going to go for a U-turn. I know I can take any hit from this thing. They actually go for a Leech Seed, which is interesting. So this is great. Gives us a free switch into Iron Moth, which is huge. After some U-turn chip as well. So that's that's great. So we're going to U-turn out. And we're going to go into our Iron Moth. I think that's for the best. Yeah, Iron Moth's for the best. They could... Because they've got Leech Seed, we know they're not Assault Vest. So I know we can definitely take this thing out with a Sludge Wave right now. They are lefties. Not Citrus Berry. Someone doesn't want Arch J. Ricky. Um, anyway. Anyway. Let's go for... Uh, I want to say they're probably going to switch out here. But not a lot. It's, it's, the Sludge Wave hits so many things on their team, except from the Dusclops, pretty hard. Right? Or do we Fiery Dance? Is Fiery Dance a better option? I think Sludge Wave... No, I think, I think we U-turn here. Because they probably switch out into Dusclops here or the Latte. And and getting the, the, the priority... The Samurai is even better. Samurai is even better for us. So the U-turn comes through and that's going to break a potential Sash, which is amazing. 
which is amazing. So now um, we can go Fracture. We can first impression this thing into Oblivion. We can first impression this thing into Oblivion. I think that is the way to go. I think that is the way to go. I don't want to reveal that I'm Choice Scarfed um, floor just, just yet. I know I want to keep Fracture around, that's for sure, because it really hurts that Latias if it sets up Carmines and stuff. So we'll go... We'll just go first impression straight up. They might not expect the first impression, you know. First impression comes through. Fracture gets a KO on the Samurott. Fracture gets a KO. That is wild. That is wild. Fracture actually got a KO. They did not expect the first impression or they just didn't. They had a free switch into Nine Tails. Pretty much. That's amazing. That's, that's brilliant for us. Samurott going down is amazing. Right, Latias comes in. That thing's a threat. We know it's going to calm mind or something along those lines. So we're better off going into floor just and tricking. It's going to go for a dragon type move or it's going to go for a calm mind. I think calm mind is most probable. So I think floor just is the best switch here and then we trick them. They actually withdraw Latias expecting us to go floor just maybe. And they go Dusclops. This is actually really big for us. Dusclops is really big. So they frisk our expert belt. Now that comes in first. Which means they don't frisk our choice scarf. Which means they are still unaware that we are a choice scarf lodge. Now is it worth tricking this thing now? Because it's knowing him, it's probably going to be sub punch. Right? So do we trick straight up? Because they probably expect us to switch out here. Experiencing a poltergeist or something along those lines. I think we trick. I don't I, I don't foresee us needing the choice scarf anymore. Now that the separate now the samurai's gone. I think we trick here. Yep, trick comes through. That's great. Tricking the dust clops the um choice scarf is amazing. Gets rid of the bulk as well. If they are a violite. There's the violite. Yep, cool. As they go for a car man. Brilliant. Now we get a free switch in. We get a free switch in on with something. What do we want to go into? Because they have to switch out into either the Electrode, Ninetales, Latias, or the or the Shaman. So we do get a free switch into Iron Moth really here. Do they go Latias though? They wouldn't go Latias because, well, we can just fire off a Moonblast here. Moonblast is free damage because we are offensive. Let's just fire off Moonblast because they're not going to stay in Calm Mind again. Right, they withdraw the Dust Clops. We get a free Moonblast off on something. Which is great damage for us. Shaman's the one that's going to take the Moonblast to the face. Which is crazy good. Moonblast comes through. Nice bit of damage. No special attack drop, which is fine. Absolutely fine. We get free damage off. And now, if we know this thing's going to... Right, okay. If we know this thing's going to leech seed... We, right, we should go into Corviknight 100% of the time here. We withdraw. We withdraw. We outspeed. So they haven't switched out, which is good. Noctis comes in. Well, it depends on the set, really, with the Shaman, because we are max speed Florges. I think we're max speed. Something like that. They oh, they withdraw. They're, so they're, they're bulky Shaman, which is good to know. And they go Electro. That's a really good play by my opponent. Really good play. We can take a Volt Switch, no problem, even if they're Specs. Um, the question is, do we want to? Do they predict a Verizon or a Fracture Switch, and they go for the Terra Ice, though? I might predict the Terror Ice. It's a really ballsy play. There's no reason for them to not Volt Switch though to try and get momentum back. So I think U-turn is the play. We're gonna lose some. We're gonna lose some health, but it's like fine. What do we roost? I think we roost expecting a Volt Switch. Yeah, we roost expecting a Volt Switch. Uh, Thunderbolt's fine. We can take that. Like I said, we take it like a champ. As long as it doesn't power, we're fine. The so roost comes through. We know that's not Specs damage. We know that's not specs damage, so now we can U-turn, knowing knowing, knowing that, what, that they're going to go for a Thunderbolt again, potentially. They don't know we don't have Brave Bird for a start, so that could be some nice chip, but I, I'm going to go for a U-turn. They go for another Thunderbolt, unless you get a crit here, we should be alright. Yep, we're fine. No power? No power, that's good. U-turn comes through, that's going to do a nice chunk of damage. Now, unless they Ooh, the static. Ooh, that's a good, good bit of hacks there. So we've got the static on the Corviknight, but it's fine. Corviknight's still balling. <laughs> Which is funny because of the electrode on the field. <laughs> um, right, okay. So what do we do here? So I'm leaning towards Fracture's first impression, but we don't know if it's Terra Fairy or not. It's more than likely Terra Ice, looking at the team. 
But if they Terra Fairy or Terra Ice, Palafin is just easily just going to clean this thing up. So I think Fracture should bait it because Fracture's not doing much else. No, but then again, I think I think Verizon is the good answer here. I think Verizon is the good answer. So we'll bring Verizon in. It's Focus Sashed after all. They haven't got Hazards up. And the Dusclops is pretty much null and void at this point. Let's, um, if we assume the Terra, we assume the Terra Grass, uh, Terra Ice, we should close combat. Close combat hits pretty much everything as well. But Exazor as well is a pretty good one. Um, that'll hit the Latias if they bring the Latias. I think we go Exazor because it'll hit the Latias if they bring that in. They actually sub up. Which is interesting. So they substitute. Which is very interesting. So we X scissor on their substitute. Are they like Pataya Berry or something? They must be Pataya Berry. I think it's Pataya Berry that boosts your special attack. Let's try it again. Let's see what happens. Because we've got Vacuum Wave, so we don't have to worry too much about this if it is Pataya Berry. So they're going to Terra now. What type are they? Are they going to just Terra Ice, uh, Terra Blast straight up? If they are, that's a good play. If they are, which they have, I should have probably Vacuum Waved, but it's fine. It's fine at the end of the day. We'll Focus Sash. We'll live this, no problem. Substitute again. And they are Pataya Berry. That's Pataya Berry, right? Yeah, Pataya Berry. That boosts the special attack. But we're going to break that Substitute with our uh, X Scissor right now. And then we're going to reveal the... Uh, as long as we didn't get paralyzed here, which would be kind of cool if we didn't. Substitute faded. No static. Nice. Now we just vacuum wave them. Vacuum wave comes through. Verizon gets a KO. Looking good. Looking good. Electro goes down. You love to see it. You bloody love to see it. Absolutely amazing. All right. I'm really chuffed with this game so far. Right, Ninetales comes in. That's good. All right, so we can bring Corviknight in now. Is Corviknight the best option here? So Ninetales comes in. They probably want to get the Aurora Veil up. Um, Corviknight's low on HP, but if we can get a Defog off on the Aurora Veil and then we hard switch predicting the Encore, I think we do go Corviknight here. We might lose Corviknight, but it's not the end of the world if we lose Corviknight. If they don't Aurora Veil, we Roost. If they do, we Defog. So we exert some pressure, which is cool. They go for a blizzard, expecting the switch. That's a good play. But we do have the berry, which is going to recover some uh, some left. We have the leftovers. Sorry, not the left berry. We have the leftovers because I, I ignored Jay Ricky's advice. Citrus berry would have come in clutch there as well, which is a shame. So do we roost? I think we have to roost here. I think we roost here. They might not have encore if they've got blizzard. Blizzard comes through again. We live on 11 HP. We roost up, which is great. We roost up, which is great. We've got no freeze. Oh, no, we can't be frozen because we're paralyzed. Duh. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually like, I've got adrenaline pumping through me right now. So I'm going to end up saying stuff that I shouldn't say. Not in a bad way, but in like a dumb way. Right, let's go for another roost here. Even if the encore is here, it's fine. They withdraw the nine tails. That's fine. We're going to get a full HP Corviknight back to uh, full HP. So... That's going to be nice. So Duskops comes in. Interestingly, a uh, choice scarf Duskops coming in. Frisks are leftovers, which is fine. We go Rooster here again. We get back up to full. Right, okay. So now we U-turn because this thing is going to be locked into whatever it goes for. Charge Beam. Interesting choice. That's um, a Charge Beam. It's a special type boost, so respect for it. Respect for it. U-turn is going to come through. So the Duskops is kind of something that we're going to, we, we struggle to hit really hard. But because it hasn't got um, the option of Pain Split or anything like that, we just need to go into a, tra a Charge Beam Resist right now. And we can actually go into Fracture and we can just start Dragon Claw in this thing if we want to. Um, we could Dragon Claw it, Dragon Claw it, Dragon Claw it. And then we could predict the Nine Tails switch and go for a, an Iron Head. Um, first Impression could still come in useful against the Shaman and the Latias, especially now the Shaman's kind of weakened. And the Latias is kind of weakened. I've um, decided to go with Verizium. I think Fracture could still be useful for later. So I don't want it to be unnecessarily weakened. Um, and Verizium can kind of just Leaf Blade this thing. And just keep Leaf Blading this thing. So they withdraw the Dusclops because they're fearing the Leaf Blade. Which is fair enough. And they go Shaman which is also fair enough. But they have to understand we have got X Scizor. 
So Leaf Blade comes through, does a nice bit of damage. They're going to potentially try and air slash us, which is fine. As long as I can get the KO on the Shaman, I am happy. I am happy if we can get the KO on the Shaman. So I'm going to go for an X-Scissor here. Close combat might do more, but I don't want to lower my defenses any more than I have to. I'm pretty sure air slash we do live one from a defensive one. And I don't think they will have it because of the fact that they're defensive. But let's go for an X-Scissor and see how much it does. So X-Scissor comes through. Not doing much damage. And they go for the air slash, which is going to do half. So that's fine. That's fine. They may want to go nine tails here. Predicting those to go for another X there. I'm pretty sure close combat does more. So I'm going to go for the stab close combat. I'm pretty sure it does more than uh, super effective on a non-stab X there. And I'm pretty sure it'll KO the Shaman from here. So they withdraw the Shaman. They're probably going to go nine tails, right? Nine tails is free. Dusclops is also... Okay, Dusclops is fine. So Dusclops comes in. They frisk us. They find we got a focus sash. That's fine. Close combat comes through, that does no damage. As you would expect. What does this thing go for? Does it have Ice Beam? Is it Bolt Beam? Could be Bolt Beam. If it's Ice Beam, we should just go Floor Gist and just start spamming Moon Blast. Because Moon Blast is free. Yeah, we just go Floor Gist and start spamming Moon Blast at this point. We just go Floor Gist and start spamming Moon Blast at this point. Because the Dust Clubs can't recover. So we go Floor Gist. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. They do go for a Shadow Ball, interesting. So Shadow Ball comes through. It's gonna do no damage to us. Uh, we just Moon Blast here. They, they haven't really got a switch into Moon Blast. Moon Blast comes through. And that does a nice chunk of damage. They go for a Shadow Ball. They're, they're probably fishing for special defense drops here. They're probably fishing for special defense drops here. To be fair, I could copycat the Shadow Ball and that'll probably do more damage. Because we do outspeed them. I thought they might outspeed because of the Choice Scarf, but... Then again, it is a Dust Blobs. Um, so I guess I'll just copycat. Because like we put copycat on here. A, because Ellie used copycat and I want to copy her. Because, you know, copycat, that's the nature of the move, right? But also B. Oh, all right. It does about the same amount of damage. So they go for a Shadow Ball again. Boom. And now if we, if, if, oh, we got a crit. That's, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's go for a Moon Blast just to finish it off. I don't see any reason not to go for a Moon Blast. Because if they switch out now, expecting a Shadow Ball, they might think, oh, Shaman can live that. Yeah, Moon Blast comes through, that's fine. The floor just takes out the Dust Clops, which is great. Dust Clops goes down. I think we're playing pretty good today. I've got my A game on today, which is great. And, I, 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 you know, big thanks to everyone who helped me with mocks and stuff like that. Right, Latias comes in. So this thing is going to go for its uh, shenanigans with um, probably going to... We, we Terra Steel here and we Moon Blast. Right, so we Terra Steel. We Terra Steel. And we Moon Blast. There we go. Terra Steel Moon Blast is fine. There we go. Terra Steel Moon Blast is fine. They go for a Side Shock. That's going to sting a little bit, but not too much because we were resisted. It's still a two shot from there, but that's fine. We go for the Moon Blast and that. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. What was a crit? That was a nasty crit. That was a nasty crit right there. Holy crap, that was a nasty crit. That was a nasty crit. A shaming comes in. We do outspeed shaming, I believe. So we can just go for a moon blast here. Right? I'm pretty sure we outspeed. Yeah, we outspeed, I thought so. We go for a moon blast, take out the shaming, and then it's just the nine tails. Can we live a blizzard? I think we can live a blizzard and go for a terror blast. As long as they don't freeze us, we're all right. I'm pretty sure we live a we live a we live a, a, a blizzard though. I'm pretty sure we live a blizzard unless it goes for a physical attack, which I doubt. We go for a terror blast 100% of the time here. They go for a blizzard. We should live. We do live. No freeze. No freeze. Terror blast comes through. That should cleanly take out the uh, nine tails, right? Yes, we got a six zero. I'm so happy we got a six zero. <laughs> it's all thanks to floor just a fracture. And Verizon, of all things. Oh my god, GG Drew, that was that was amazing. Oh wow, what a game. What a game.